Assalamu alaikum mbaka yi nyingle na niu dile ndala la si bene njota yi gambia football show ndi jola football bantaba youtube channel um i'm your host chama um and today we have a, a big guest um seni mboch <laughs> and um as usual my am suma suma waji seni seni kanyi mom is now a regular of the of the gambia football show unfortunately suma co-host because they the formal benen game so he could not make it on time but there's a chance he might join us do uh whilst we uh whilst we on the show so why before my uh de de many further i'm uh mess my gun be munu you sing boka is any welcome to the jolo football bantaba youtube channel once again <laughs> well thank you very much Ama, for having me um the viewers mm -hmm. out there also i come so i was a co-host um smatoma saying and also we'd like to apologize in in advance that i have two kids and sometimes we'll be in a discussion and they might interrupt mm -hmm. they might or they might not so they will also to understand that you know sometimes it's not easy to be a mother you know <laughs> so these are some of the challenges you get face there but in advance promo while and was it to understand but anyway i'm happy to be here today for what i like you regards to my new appointment in horses and mm -hmm. uh, and it's also a pleasure to be with my brothers. So it's a family discussion. <laughs> yeah, it's a family discussion. Why I we have I have a challenge today because I have two sinis in the house, so it's gonna be a, a, a difficult task. But <laughs> I will I, I will address um sini I will address with your with your son name and then and then sini kanya. I think that that will that will make life easier easier for me. Sini, sini kanya. Yes, Bro, welcome back. It's good to have you again. Yeah, I'm happy to be here as always. Like you know, I'm new now. So I'm 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 two more time. You know, I'm you know content now. Simon top. So you know, I'm it's always a pleasure to have her here. So I'm um, my new new Hamlet. You know, they are also with us. So happy to be here as usual. It's a pleasure. 
Yeah, we have a lot to discuss today. Um, but the the main agenda today, as you know, is uh, we want to discuss uh, with Sini about he about her appointment with AC Hossens um uh, male team. Um, of, of course, if you follow his so her socials, um, the end gives name uh, post on uh, about her new appointment. A player caretaker role at AC Hossens, and uh, where we have a host of Gambians, you know, working at right now uh, a professional football club in Denmark. So yeah, Lolo is one of the topics, and then we have to we have um, the Wafu Zone A school football tournament going on right now. Under 15, there is a Gambian male team and a Gambian female team. We will look at that. Um, the GFF um, the, or the Gambia Under 20 is pre preparing to go for the Under 20 Afri All Africa Games, which is scheduled to start start this month. Um, and the squad has been announced. So then hold on, no, 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 it. And um and and, and and many other things you know you and people discuss. But if you are start here, uh, we're gonna start with with Sandy Boch about her appointment. First of all, we would like to say congratulations on on on, on the appointment, which is um which is massive, which is big, um, uh, because this kind of um role or seeing Gambian um like let's say Gambian female being involved in male football, I think this is the first time personally I've had something like that. So congratulations on your new appointment, Sandy Boy. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate um, the encouragement. Yeah. yeah. And um, to start with, um, we would like to understand your position at AC Hossens. What role do you hold in, in AC Hossens? Um, this is a department, uh, a mm -hmm. department which uh, you have three people having different tags. So mm -hmm. we also like normally, you know, in every uh, <clears throat> organization, when it comes to football organization, you have the general secretary or the CEO, mm -hmm. we say, um, the person who is responsible or the general manager that's responsible for our day-to-day -day operations. So in AC Hossens, um, for me, myself, through my contract, that's the person I have to report every time because he's my direct supervisor. So my role, because we differentiate different, different roles. So I'm working with uh, Maria and Kim. Um, so my tax um, that I'm taxed with as a player caretaker, uh, one of the things is uh, to integrate and support the players to provide um, some emotional support. So mm -hmm. that assists the players, you know, to know how they can have the best life in horses. Because sometimes mm -hmm. we all understand these outside players, if they come to a club, it's difficult for them to integrate and to have that kind mm -hmm. of assist. And they have to understand the same way of doing things in the club and they have to help them because they are not coming from a local now they are, they are professional so they have to adopt certain system mm -hmm. so it's always difficult most especially if you have a new players coming um from uh, a team or for a country like most especially in african countries that you know um they don't have any understand any clue about european style so it's important also for me to help those people how they will try to integrate and then have the support in the team so and also one of the things is like the social gatherings like i have to make sure they have to through the integration i have to make sure i have to provide a social gathering for them they have to mm -hmm. be together um with the teammates i have to um gather certain things that they have to be together because they might not come in a in one country the likes of like mm -hmm. we have a player from uganda we have a player from usa we have a player from ivory coast we have a player from gambia so all those people we have to bring them together how best they can try to be together and they understand the same way of doing things in the day so one of my mm -hmm. role also and also one of my role also tax is the mental health of player mm -hmm. why we are saying the mental health because most of the time this player sometimes they might have this kind of preconceived mind in their mindset most especially mm -hmm. african players like i'm coming to where i have never been and then i have seen some people like white people okay um they'll be like man i don't know these people i don't know what to do so they will have challenges also at home so they may have challenges at home and then they will be keeping themselves we know how our players are so we we we, we are adopting we are adopted in the system like we are program in a system that um we have the kind of believe that okay whatever i have i can keep it to myself but that will affect your performance as a player so one of my role is i make sure i have to be so close to you where you can open up and then talk to me so that i can work that's why i'm working with my husband very well because he's a mm -hmm. transitional coach so i'll be talking to him and say look this player this is that it's happening this player i think you have to check over this player or they will call mm -hmm. me and say Sani, 
this also play having issues maybe you have a family problem or someone died close to you or you have issues with money back home or you are not happy with certain way certain people are treating you in the team so that would be my role to make sure i have to guide you through to have a very stable mental health or mental you know certain way of doing this and also about like um certain nutrition about how you have to behave in a certain way so all this thing mm -hmm. to guide you in a professional way so to sum it up mm -hmm. these are one of my attacks also so and also like cooking and nutrition i have to mm -hmm. make sure i have to assist the players when it comes to their checking what they have to eat every morning they have to eat because mm -hmm. some of the players might say okay i'm not used to eating pasta i'm not used to eating this food and this food so i have to make sure they have to adopt the eating system and they have because they are professionals now so they have to stop mm -hmm. sitting eating way like they don't have to use red bull they need to mm -hmm. use yes some some vitamin d or vitamin c they have to use that so all those things but i have to work with the physiotherapy and the mm -hmm. one the doctor who should be you know saying okay saying it, this is the thing that they have to do so i have to make sure to monitor all those things that they have to do and then they have mm -hmm. to have the nutrients in their system so these are the mm -hmm. areas that i'm covering up so some of my colleagues will be covering up like if they need some certain things like they need some groceries so they'll be telling me i'll be telling them okay this player needs grocery so you can you know uh, buy some groceries for the person or oh, they need this they need that and mm -hmm. because all what i'm doing is try to make sure their mental health is steady or they're not comfortable with certain things then i'll be telling the individual okay they are not steady with certain things so what can and anything that that can uh, any metrics that have to uh, be involved in their development that has yeah. the performance so all those things if i think enhanced of okay yeah, enhance performance or if i think of like they need to have this to enhance their performance or they don't need to have this then that would be my role to write to the to the management and said they will need this they will need this so it's a special area but but why all these things happen maybe some people will be so much um surprised or said wow i didn't know say having this kind of role or knowing this kind of way but let me tell you one thing uh, my role was all what i know is women's football but i was a very mm -hmm. caring person because yeah. one of the things i do to advocate what the players need and this is one of mm -hmm. the things that was in me and one of the things i have done to myself is when there was the under 20 of my husband Matar, you can see anytime i'm attached to the under 20. people might not know what was my role there but it was not mm -hmm. official or by the gff to appoint but i was there to support my husband to support the players sometimes because i have a very mm -hmm. great rapport with um the under 20 players because i do mm -hmm. help them with certain things that they need even right now they're in their clubs i do help them with certain things that they need in gambia so mm -hmm. these are one of the things that i was doing that many people don't know but sometimes mm. it's not even surprise because also certain things that in me is caring and I'm in football, but I will mm. know exactly because when how I was, um, yeah, how they feel because I was there, I was a player and I know yeah. how they need and what they need. So I will mm. relate the feeling and I will relate the situation. So that's why um, I was given that opportunity to handle that position. Yeah. And also, um, like, I think it's quite interesting because and if you look at ac hossens um they have quite a lot of african players now playing there yes. and um, a lot of african workers working there uh, one you just mentioned matar Boch, your, your husband and um does your role is it limited to african players because of understanding the culture that they are coming from or is it 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 it, 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 it is wider than that yeah it's all 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 international mm -hmm. players come in that's why you're coming from us that's why you're coming from sweden that's why you're coming from anywhere my role mm -hmm. is just to take care of any player who is coming as an international player if you are in denmark because you already you are in the system you already know yes i will assist you in certain things because it's player care because some might be in denmark mm -hmm. and they might need certain assets but you know most of them they are stayed they stayed in denmark they all know the culture and everything so as long mm -hmm. as you are outside international player coming into horses it's my role to make sure all those things uh you need that is provided by you as a player and you mentioned i think you mentioned that there is a it is a team you have a team of three working yes. in the same de department so yes, having you group, yeah. with, with yeah like how how diverse is it like in terms of the the team like because you from the gambia from africa and there's a lot of african players playing there how how diverse is the is the department or the player care role or is it um ev like like I, I believe they will make it diverse because they will have some Dennis because there are some Dennis players in the club. They will have others from Europe here because the culture also matters, I think, because you can understand the players that are coming from the Gambia, the players that are coming from Africa more than those, uh, than others. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why more I'm there? Because um, 
you can see my culture is African culture. And now because mm -hmm. Hossins, you can see they are very much interested in African players. So you can yeah. see most of the time, this is not only Hossins, but this is in general. Most of these countries, um, most of the teams in European standards, if the black um, or the African players are coming, they don't adapt easily because it's always mm -hmm. difficult for them to adapt. That's why I give example that many, um, that many players um, mm -hmm. are really, you know, struggling sometimes. African players, they go to these international clubs because their mm -hmm. food, their, their, their mental health. And also one of the things I forgot to mention, which is one of my um, uh, role also is how best I can try to guide them through with their security of outsiders. For instance, like mm -hmm. when we take Omar, for example, Omar is coming from Samura. He's a Gambian, and yeah. I know how Gambians we are with our media. So they'll be trying to push mm -hmm. Omar. Okay, maybe the Omar Omar is not playing because I have seen something like young community like that. Like, okay, they don't like you mm -hmm. in the club or what? No, I have to stop that. Or they might say, okay, you have to play or stand away because they might not understand what is on, in, on the pitch. So the player might also want okay, what mm -hmm. favors him to say positive things about him that he have to play and so on. Whilst outsiders mm -hmm. don't understand, there's certain things that lack with the player still to adjust the system. Mm -hmm. Maybe the coach might say, okay, still now you have time to come in. You understand? So all those things have to prepare mentally to make sure they have to avoid all those things and they have to know like their mobile phones, how to talk because they will not be always on the free. I have to monitor all those things. So these are one of the, this is a big job, you know? So these are all, all those things that I have to make them also comfortable where they are. So mm -hmm. coming back to the question is, it's something that uh, many players really face challenges. But right now, mm -hmm. seeing me, for instance, look up, I didn't give example like um, Ali said, Ali Sen is here, but when Mumatar came, yeah. he was more comfortable seeing his coach. He was more comfortable seeing me in the team because now he'll be talking to people who will understand me that, okay, um, you, you are an African, you understand what I want. You are an African because sometimes if I understand how they think, because maybe sometimes you have some meeting and I tell them, look, this is how they're thinking. Maybe they might not be comfortable mm -hmm. to talk to Maria or they might not be comfortable to talk to Kim, but they might mm -hmm. be comfortable to talk to me because they understand that I know the culture. And I know exactly what they will talk, what, 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 what they will be thinking about and what they want and what they will be feeling. So that's why it's very important for me to be there. And it's a very big diverse one because my profession is football. And Maria's profession, she's a professional nurse. She understands about the mm. psychological effect on certain things that they need. Mm. Kim also mm. understands certain way of like in the in the way of their way of their living, the environment, their homes, how they have to take care of it, how everything. So it's a diverse um it's a diverse uh, it's a department team. where every, yes, it's a big, it's a great team that everybody knows. We, we always learn from each other. For my background, it's coming from a football background. Yeah. Okay. And then the, the other thing, because they say player care, you know, and um, the football club does not only in, include players. They are uh, administrators, they are managers, and all these, they go through the same psychological uh, issues as players. Mm -hmm. So how about the, the, the welfare of, 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 of those, those, the, the, those members of the team? For example, your husband is a, is a coach in the team. Um, mm -hmm. How do you work with coaches? Or, or you don't have any direct um, work with, with coaches. It's just, your work is focused to, on players only. Yeah, perfect, exactly. My work mm -hmm. is only for players. Exactly. Only for players. That's what my contract says. So I always deal with mm -hmm. the players. Um, anything because yes, I have the relationship with, with the, the player, like I said, the coaches like Matar, because he's a transitional mm -hmm. coach and assistant coach. He understands mm -hmm. certain things that they need. I have to under also the, the, the gym master, like what proteins do they need and then okay, do they do they need this or he will talk to me. The the, the physiotherapy also will talk to me that this is what they need and so on. So I have to provide all this and I have to also check on them. So all what should be done to provide the performance, to enhance the performance, I have to be involved. Yeah. But yeah, not really. I think Seni, 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 Seni. Yeah. Okay, I think Seni, can you have a point to, to add? So, Seni, go ahead. Well, um, it's quite Seni impressive. Also about in, the, in the local language, we don't understand also because you no, actually, you use what you speak local. Like, yeah, I'm going all of them there, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, anything, <laughs> okay. 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 Um, just like I've said earlier, um, it's quite impressive, and we know the game has moved on. You know, um, she spoke of two important things: that is the um, 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 mental health of the players, and also um, what they eat. You know, mm -hmm. so I think these are important things that we need to have, because I mean, I think uh, Gambian clubs or um, Gambia as a country can can learn a lot from this because the game has moved. You understand, mm -hmm. when a player is okay mentally, 
you know, um, that will ensure that he or she um, 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 does well in the field. And the things he or she takes as well um, contributes a lot. So I think, you know, yeah, two important things that I have highlighted in here, which is, I mean, we need to have these things in place. And, and I have, a, and, you know, these are um, a concern to me that Gambia, we don't have a, um, we don't have these things available within our national teams, you understand. Um, and we're not thinking way, along those lines either. Yes, uh, because we, um, we, mm-hmm. you, um, you know, there are certain games you go into. Um, mental health contributes a lot. How you, how you mm-hmm. um, help yourself um, going for the things you take. Because, I mean, you go to these clubs, you know, um, um, let's say in Europe, you know, these are things they, they have in place. Um, so I believe Gambia, as a football loving country, needs to look at this matter. So um, I'm mm-hmm. quite impressed. I'm quite impressed that you know she um, gave this in detail. So I believe we can learn from this as clubs and as a country. You know, if you understand, because the game has moved on. Um, these are things that contribute to the growth of players. So um, mm-hmm. a club um, has these things in place. The players will feel happy, comfortable um, when they take things that will ensure that you know they go within the game. I mean, you know, um, it's going to be a win for for um, 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 for Gambia as a as a nation, so I believe we can, you know, um, we can absolutely learn from these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Sini is back. Let me just bring her back. So, guys, here, uh, knowing go dege, Sini, family woman lah. So, I am two boys for funo no. The boys is unyeke di yenga tuleke. Fuck mu unyeke di duga di gena. So, again, we apologize for that. But anyway, Sini, um, the other thing we are going to talk about um, Matar. And uh, you you spoke about him. Um, he is in the capacity of uh, transitional coach between you know academy like the youth teams and then the senior team. Um, can you can you can you give us a, a, a briefing of his of, of, of his role and uh, what what his task what what his task task to do at AC Horses? Of course, we would like to have Matar at some point and then discuss more in detail with him. But since you are in the same club. What can you tell us about his role at AC Hassans? Yeah, his role is a transitional assistant coach. Um, mm-hmm. the say even a transition means like between the A team and then the junior category team, like the under mm-hmm. 23, under 20, and so on. And there will be more tax ahead because we are just a very big tax very soon. Um, so the mm-hmm. understand between the co- teams now he will prepare those players to check whether they are fit to play in the A team and also to check mm-hmm. also the A team whether those people also are fit to come down. Because he mm-hmm. has to look at the performance level, so it's a way of like he have to make sure they have to that the under ninety they have to build up to check some of the players that they really need the focus and they really need the support. Like for instance, if you bring a player outside and then we see it's not mature enough to play or it's not fit enough to play in the first team, they have to come to the E nineteen. So he will check the mm-hmm. player like one, two, three months to monitor the player, how the player is good, how the player is fit to to be promoted to the A team. So basically, mm-hmm. this one of his roles that he's doing, and also to assist as an assistant coach in the games. Yeah, yeah, so no, definitely. Both, he's in board. Yeah, he's in board. I think it's a it's a very very important role. I'm sure he yeah. knows very well. Um, uh, as a, <laughs> I would just uh, that's it. to the Liverpool stuff. What's in Liverpool? Because Liverpool are less board, but then Liverpool are less board. Exactly, and, um, it's a good example uh, of Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a good example. Like, if you look at Liverpool in the past couple of weeks, uh, just mm-hmm. League Cup final, we go play last, last time. I'm sure he knows very well about Vito Matos. He does yeah. the same role. He, that guy is one of the most important people at Liverpool. The Liverpool club knew it. See, players, uh, see, see, team and me, see, yeah. come see, coaching staff and me, you, you me sign. Yeah. Vito Matos, a, a, a yeah. Portuguese guy, I'm sure Matar know him very well. Mm-hmm. He's one of no, the most crucial guys. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, he will know, he will know about him. So, you can see the transition that Liverpool is doing with, between the, the youth coach, youth, Yo, yes. youth players and the, and the senior, senior into, into the senior team. So, yeah, yeah, hopefully we will have him one day and then we will discuss more about that and maybe, my name is I'm going to talk Liverpool a little bit. Yeah, that's <laughs> Sometimes, um, that is sometimes this, this is the problem they will be saying, okay, key, you know, sometimes we, we got to know certain things that is really when you understand how football really works. So then I want to keep the place in a senior level, keep the mood to play. I don't think I don't think that's that's necessary for people to say. If you are, if you see, I made that kind of people or that kind of coaches in between, you have and you want to keep moving up, put place the senior bit. Come like, let's say, young community was an example. Like he was mm-hmm. playing good and then he can play in the senior level. So he can play even in the under 20, as long as AMB is okay. He can play in both mm-hmm. um, senior and he can both, even in the young community, if you have the age, he can play in the under 23. 
mm. in Olympics in your play. He have the A so he can play for it. So that they wanna no no no. So here sometimes we have to understand certain things. But when it comes to the European standard, it's 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 quite massive, it's quite different from the African standard, mm -hmm. uh, African mm -hmm. way of doing things. But what I'm saying is what I'm saying, what he was saying, let me come back to that. When it comes mm -hmm. to like it's very important for player care, very, very important role, very, very important because now many teams are really when it comes to even Premier League teams are really mm -hmm. concerned about these things because in Gisnen they play, but it must be such I mean outside players, the international union you know, team integrated, they make a problem. And most of the time we have a, a session Bohamnen, we have the, the person from uh Fini um uh, PSG. One a very important role in him. He mm -hmm. was working with African players for many years, almost 20 years. But so there's many African players mm -hmm. in the I'm the kind of fail failing of their boca. So I the health of mm -hmm. their boca. They, they they fail in certain way of that. So player care rule is very, very important. And now many clubs, even the Premier League clubs, American clubs, say MLSB, then go over that. Then go then go, then go live in Tarap. For them living go, go higher. Yeah, then go funka mm -hmm. because it's something low that they help players to elevate, to enhance performance. So we mm -hmm. will see the player leaving the player just like that. See, no, no, no. You have to help the player to, to make sure more settle, to make sure more harmony. Most people say even international, even national team players, a national team player, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, okay, you get as a player, but harmony. Come like I'm gonna say the Janko. I'll give mm -hmm. example like Seri Janko. Okay, Seri Janko is a player, but harmony. How much there about Gambian issue? How much are about Gambian culture? How much are about the way we do things? Why hang come like, I'm gonna come like Omar Kuli, Musabaro. They understand about Gambian culture, so they don't they don't care mm -hmm. about certain things because they know it's normal for them. But if you bring that mm -hmm. kind of people in the in the national, or you bring that kind of people, they will say, okay, if I'm special people in your family, they will be talking to them what they will be in needed or what they need because they are different. Mm -hmm. So 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 this is the importance of the player care. Okay. Yeah, you know, no, definitely. But what one thing we want pick on uh, from your tweet when I bought and announced your 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 appointment was the final thing, which was very important for me. Um, young in a, but I'm not running away from 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 women's football, sure. uh, which is important, of course. Right now, young see young see male football because male teaming and eka, and um, for now discuss then about about AC Hossens. Do they have a female team? What is the plans there? And um. Yeah, I'm gonna go away from from women football. What is your plan uh, when it comes to women football? Because you have like like I think you have a huge pedigree when it comes to you know a, a huge impact when it comes to female football in the Gambia. Then what about Wafu under twenty be under under fifteen Muneka be be Mauritania right now, which of course you will know a lot about. But what is next for women football? What are you doing, Saini Boy? <laughs> yeah, I'm not why I say I'm not running away from women football because women football is always a passion for me. You mm -hmm. African women's football uh, development the group be. Um, say that we move forward on one of the some of my comments. Still now, I'm really, really loyal for women's football because women's football is my life. Mm -hmm. uh, whether I don't know whether I will last in women's football, I will last in men's football. But for me, sometimes I feel like okay, this is the, this is the honest um, truth of me. I feel like I have a very masculine energy when it comes to certain things pushing. So it's mm -hmm. good also for me to be in the men's football. To test my mm. my my ability or to test my my level of certain way of doing things, yeah. Mm. And it's something like the women's football. Luma bugala lo ham. It's my life. Blue lam. When women's football lam, football nega, football nega. It's my everything. So I'm not running. Really, so coming back to the horses thing, I have started mm -hmm. with that. We got started with talking mm -hmm. with the CEO, because I will CEO. Um, Christian mm -hmm. and also the head of academic director Matt. One of them, when it comes to the women's football, women's football is not uh, that they saying they they put in, we put it in their plans, but mm -hmm. it's not something low uh, They are much into it hundred percent, but they put it in their plans mm -hmm. and they were thinking about it. So I had a short discussion mm -hmm. with um, yeah, I have a short uh, discussion with them, and uh, they said they would think about it. So what we do first is they said they will think the player care we we establish build because it's a new department in Helsinki. You establish yeah. the game. Then let's let's look at this summer because I gave them all the tips that they have to do when it comes to recruiting the young ones, when it comes to recruiting the the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the age um for women's football and how best we can bring them together through festivals, through the you know, some of the things that I was doing in Gambia. 
and I think it will be mm -hmm. good for them here because it will be very great here, sir. Because parents, they will understand, and their parents themselves will come and watch, and then they will pick the best, and then we start to build up the team. But anyway, also Denmark is one of the countries you have. They are really, really having great projects with FIFA, and mm -hmm. they're having great projects with UEFA. So it will not mm -hmm. be uh, difficult for 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 them to establish that in house. But in the long run, it will happen. But for now. We focus on the player care department to establish it. Maybe it might be mm -hmm. bigger than that because this is the first time Horsens is having it. So, yeah. which is something really needed because this is something also is a legacy for Hamlet. We have to set the standard to make sure anybody mm -hmm. who is coming after us will make sure everything is structured in a standard way. So, so it's something like Hamlet. It's a quite, quite interesting. The interesting part is it. Chama, anything when it comes mm -hmm. to football, even <laughs> I cannot do it, I will try, I will give my best. You because it's all about football, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. football in hammer. Well, so I just said, Toma, I'm in question. Uh, Seni, Seni, go ahead. Yeah, Toma, um, just a quick one. Going forward, um, what do you think the Gambia needs to do concerning these two areas? Um, mental health and and knowing um, um, what to eat. Going forward, what do you think we need to do from our junior teams to the national teams? One of the things, one of the things that is lacking our performance, not only in Ghana, in Africa in general, because I always think that not in Ghana, only Africa in general, is malnutrition. We have it. Most of our players, mm -hmm. the eating habit, because you'll be going to have hard trainings under the hot sun, and then you will not drink a lot of water, you will not eat healthy food, you go and eat rice. Sometimes you don't even eat, you go and sleep. You wake up that morning again, you walk kilometers and go for training, and you expect to perform better. So it's important for also like um, it's one of the key important. Even GFF put it in there one of their key priorities. That's the CAM project when it comes to mm -hmm. medic when it comes to medical side. But the medical side only don't stop on medical side. They're just talking about only the injury. But it's talking about the mental health side. It's very important when it comes to fitness. When it comes to certain things that are involved. So I think going forward because I can remember there was a survey that they sent. We got sent it. They were. Because it's not like it need to have 15 of backroom staff, which mental health or a psychologist is part of those people to, to, to be part of the technical mm -hmm. bench because it's important. They will not be on the bench when it comes to the technical side, but outside the pitch needs those people. And it's really very important that has to be attached when it comes to their performance. Because it's really, even us as human beings, if you lack that kind of nutrients in us, it's always difficult. So it's important mm -hmm. for us to have the kind of uh, people because we have it i think people are there who, who are learning those things when it comes to nutrition and then so on but the most important side also is the psychological side because they are all together so psychological side also we have issues also starting with the players families sometimes they put them under pressure some players are very in a big big pressure sometimes if you come to europe here you think okay they have everything you'll be calling them uh so so you put pressure on them and they are not even settled down because they have to make sure they have to settle down in the team. So most of the parents also contribute and most of the family members also contribute when it comes to the mental health of a player. And people are also family friends and your friends as well. They will try to tell you certain things that are not that are known on existence. And you have to put they put that they pile it in your head. So if they pile those things in your head to take it off, they try to also bring that kind of mental greatness amongst your teammates that will lower your performance because if you are not comfortable to do certain things it's, it's always difficult so it's always good for people to be talking about things that's why i always advise players talk to people who understand the game talk to people who will really give you the best and who will tell you the realities because you yourself as a person you will know what chama is telling me is the realities but as a person, you will know what Sen is telling me. It's not the reality. Maybe he is telling me something that I want to hear. You don't tell players what they want to hear, but you tell players what they need to hear. Don't tell them what they want to hear. So this is certain things that is really affecting most of the African players when it comes to their performance level. So it's bringing them down. It's really bringing them down with their performance. We can name lots of several players who are coming up when it comes to performance. For instance, like let me take an example of like Pogba. Yes, Pogba is a French person he, all his life, but mental health right now, he's not having a good health because he's having issues with his uh, career. So how do you expect Pogba to come back again to perform well? When it comes to even racism, sometimes it's faced by the players, like, like different, different people. 
so so these are some of the issues that really it's really and also sometimes the booing like you'll be in a in, in a particular uh, environment playing and then you will have a very bad game and then they will be saying they will win you as a player so that can also distract you so it's important for people to talk about it even as a coach it's important for you to have a mental health they have to help you with the mental health because sometimes pressure mm -hmm. might come for you along, along the, the team the fans the, the the atmosphere it's not even safe for you to be walking alone so all these things involved when it comes to mental health of a player and also as a coach so it's very important is some of the thing that controls because it controls your brain it controls because the brain controls the emotions so it all connects to the brain so sometimes it's really 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 difficult for people to manage it and but these are some of the things also we do our best even us as people because i also learn it in the safeguarding if you can understand that also i have done safeguarding mm -hmm. FIFA safeguarding at the diploma level so it helps me a lot to understand a lot of things about this thing and how to deal with these things sometimes players might tell you certain secrecy that they will not be comfortable to talk to anyone so they'll be comfortable to talk to me so i have to have that sense of secrecy between me and them that's why they have to open up and i have to make sure i have to connect with them with anything that they need to talk about when it comes to their families even their mm -hmm. girlfriends they can have problem with their girlfriend it's normal you have problem with it or you have a wife or you have something it's normal so it's also you can have mm -hmm. a sibling problems parents or whatsoever so it can connect so yeah so these are one of the most important areas that i think we really need that in our in our clubs i really need that in our it's not like an advice but not an advice in a way of so that you can have the positive so that you have negative yeah um say any uh like you spend a lot of time working in the, in the in the Gambia, especially when it comes to female football. You spend a lot of time before I think um, since you um, tendered resi resignation at GFF, this is your first appointment. Am I right in, in saying yeah. that? Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So female football is it has been a, a huge part of you. You have achieved a lot of a lot when it comes to female football in the Gambia, like in terms of uh, setting up, you know, strategies and uh, structures in place. There is a lot of things that you have achieved. So, what do we like? like do we expect to see Seni back in Gambia? You know, or, or working with working working with the Gambian authorities again? Or even if you don't work for them, but you can work with them. I I believe <laughs> because this this is your it's your baby. She said, "Don't be like Boka." He never went to such a place. I was at Taubi. I'm going my way. Ciao. Um, let me let me give you a brief bit history about me. Yeah, I want to know. Today, I am I am proud to be saying I started my journey as an Arabic school student. Mm -hmm. I didn't start going to English school. I started going to English school in grade seven. Taught them in Abuja. And what brought mm -hmm. me to be in the in 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 this school is because of I was very good in English in Arabic school because I have mm -hmm. the passion to make sure I have to speak English and I have to write English. So that's mm -hmm. where I was selected to play in the Norway Cup, and from there, I gave a speech, and which many many English students are there, but have that braveness in me to give a speech, and that's where I was selected to say, "Are you interested to go to English school?" And I said yes. So I was doing both English and Arabic, and I graduated in both sides. I can speak English, I can write in Arabic, I can speak in Arabic. Maybe some some of the languages I missed in Arabic now because I'm not used to talking in, in Arabic now. Mm -hmm. But going fast forward, women's football is something that I know all my life. And uh, that's why I wrote on my Facebook page, this is not only about luck. This is mm -hmm. about something I work hard for it. I have mm -hmm. done it, sacrifice, a lot of sacrifices, leaving my career to come to women's football because I have seen I got those potential to change things. So why not? Mm -hmm. So from there, then I make sure women's football is something that is my baby. Sometimes even my husband mm -hmm. will telling me, you think that you own women's football, but it's not about owning, it's about what I love to do, what I love to see mm -hmm. women's football to have. It's not easy in this world, not only even in Africa or not only in Gambia, but it's everywhere. But certain countries are really above in that level. They are far like in America. They are very good when it comes to women's soccer. So today, mm -hmm. um, why not? I'm a Gambian. Mm -hmm. I have to be proud of Gambia. And Gambia today make me who I am with my hard work. Mm -hmm. 
Because you know, say Seni is a Senegal, it's Senegal in me, Seni. No, Gambia in me, Seni. And there are some individual mm-hmm. people who have seen the potential in me and said, look, this guy have the potential. Why not we bring him mm-hmm. to, to, to work or to do something for us? And which the opportunity was given. And I'm very grateful for that. And today, mm-hmm. if I have elevated myself to work hard to come to this level, still now, why can I give back to my people? This is what we have. But mm-hmm. now, what I have to focus is to develop myself more when it comes to professional level. To develop my because mm-hmm. I also want to see myself in the highest level, play uh, mm-hmm. govern in football or p- work in football in the highest level. Yes, mm-hmm. that's my aim and objective. But right now, I'm in a journey on that journey. Obviously, yes, I am not limited to say, okay, I want to work for Gambia or I want to work for anybody. No, in Gambia, as mm-hmm. long as things are open and I'm invited to do certain things, why not? Mm-hmm. There's no, nothing that I can say because certain things also, yes, I have resigned my position to go. To make sure also a lot of things attach my my marriage also and also feel mm-hmm. like okay Definitely. i have to move i have to move mm-hmm. and then have to give someone opportunity also because you're gonna be also staying in one place to say all your life you have to stay i want to move i want to be at the mm-hmm. other level so other level where progress you yeah come to it us. that's called progress exactly mm-hmm. so it's not to stay in one position for for, for the rest of our life i don't want that so mm-hmm. and i have this target that one day and god is giving me that kind of you know dream come true which now come in here. It's something that sometimes I, I listen to myself or I laugh at myself and said, Sin is working in men's football. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. something which is, you know, <laughs> I was I was expecting yes to work in men's football, but That's not in this sooner, yeah. But anyway, why not? Mm-hmm. Your question answered like why not come in to yeah. work in that? Why not? Because I'm like, I'm, why not? Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah. No, I, I actually I I know the answer to that before, but of course I want you know you say to the to the audience, <laughs> but um it's 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 it, it is interesting and you know in the digital world we are living in right now you are in uh, Denmark, Sini is in Gambia, I am in Japan, and then we are here talking about you know Gambian issues, you know. So with the digital world we are in right now, there there is no limitations. You can still contribute while you are in Denmark. Of course, like you yeah. say, the important thing right now is to 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 develop yourself and then you know. Make sure that you are you can get to the highest level that you 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 you, you can, and then of course when the when the when, when the door opens, then of course you can help. That does not necessarily mean you have to be working with them. So, okay. um, yeah. See any any other any other thing we will get yoka, but la but la ni onyo ba si see ni mudem ni onyo duga si si ni watani ni ni. Yeah, see ni see ni. Mangi kabo see ni kanye. See ni kanye. Yeah, he will understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming up with earlier, like, you know, um, this is a win for Gambia. I mean, I mean, uh, mm-hmm. seeing my um, um, country lady, I'll put it, okay, um, uh-huh. you know, negative work. I think it's a win for us because Lila and work is, we want to see our people at the highest level, you know, being at, at um, mm-hmm. um, clubs or even car and, and, you know, um, um, beyond that. So I think this is a win for Gambia and um, Mongo one and I just continue keep it going. I know sometimes, you know, um, there can be a lot of um, negatives, you know, but just keep calm, do your best, you know, there's a lot you can achieve, you know, there's a lot you can achieve. Small to mala, you know, so um, there's that yeah. um, thing we have, understand. So, you know, one time we want to small journey, mm-hmm. you know, she's always been there, you know, telling me, keep it up, you know, work harder, you know. So, I think, you know, um, uh, you know earlier, we are the future, you know, you understand. So, let's just keep mm-hmm. developing ourselves. Because learning never um, um, never stops. That they continue. Understand. So um, what we need to do as young people is to develop ourselves. You know, so that when we have the opportunity, we can do that. Absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. With regards to being on uh, my my click on it, Monica. Um, Chama, when I first have a meeting with with the owner, so. Mm. I don't want to marry. So my young girl, I marry. Okay, I'm not. So I was talking, and, <laughs> and then, and then, all of it, I was just looking at me like this, saying, "Wow, mm. this, 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 who is this? Who is this lady? Who is this lady? <laughs> you know, Sini. You know, when he came to me, Sini, I heard the most things about you because I met the the, the sons, the two sons, Colin and Benedict. Mm-hmm. I said, "Wow." The, the, the son said, "This is what I'm talking about." You know, you understand what yeah, you I, really I said. Look. I have been in football for, for, for many years. Mm-hmm. So I know exactly mm-hmm. what we want to achieve. 
so but how we mm. want to achieve aku maham man aku maham mon ligay jeff man man mm. aberi da ba da ba da ba stuff you know so man ligay sa bakay ni sa noon la when i came sa mata was say take it easy you know? <laughs> some people might not understand the <laughs> way of where you come in, you know but it's a pride to say a, a person like that and matter like that they come from gambia come no way it's a it's a win for gambia because they will be mm-hmm. saying oh kon gambia i'm not i for some need i'm from the kind of you know um education when it comes to football when it comes mm-hmm. to management so i mean the kind of people so this is something mm-hmm. gambia bo hamne and we are not only man, man, i always tell people like in gambia look you have the potential there are lots of opportunities you have you can get that opportunity here it's something mm-hmm. lo hamne is a win for everyone and man yeah. i will be proud of that to see many gambians going outside having that kind of because fee they got like what we want is to elevate the standard and how to elevate mm-hmm. the standard you have to come here make sure you have to equip yourself in a lot of capacities not only this is not your capacity capacity is mm-hmm. not only about having the papers mm-hmm. some people fail to understand yeah. that not the papers only it's about the knowledge mm-hmm. knowledge be more going important mm-hmm. about the knowledge how to execute the knowledge you can have a paper but you cannot execute it so if you have the knowledge to execute it mm-hmm. then you will be the best you'll be one of the best that you can have definitely so we need to make sure you am knowledge bo hamel and come execute it has to be it has to be put it has to be injected in us so you can say tay yang am made that kind of thing you have yang kodef yang kodef yeah yang kodef we oh chama am ngini am na knowledge bo def na ko fa am na education we am na knowledge bi knowledge bi musi because fe nyu na si hale fe nyu na si lu mo def you have to implement it has to be executed it has to be shown football is all about lunyo gis is physical like in new gisla neko lo xamne ci bi la resource c'est pas resource play gis ya fo nga gis ko you must see it physically you must see it through mm-hmm. something lo xamne ko gis sa kanane wow because they um women's football i'm not saying i'm the only one who was in women's football to make things but i played a very important role when it comes to the elevate of absolutely the game mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. where it started and where it's here now a lot of things have been done telolu you can see that now nobody can take that from me nobody can take that from people who have done something mm-hmm. it cannot be taken away mm-hmm. from you because you have been there and you have done it so mm-hmm. many people who were there will understand what i'm talking about it's not about bragging it's about it's about legacy today that i'll be proud mm-hmm. to say this is how this was happening in my era and this was happening and i'm praying because young number was 70 on a 15 but mm-hmm. the on a 15 which i am proud when i saw the girls have won this is showing that and line ko first time defo nen ko won you win ni yo defa ko won you win so it's showing mm-hmm. that we have something that we have built in in women's football that mm-hmm. is not coming like only what the fact i'm on hey the fact i'm on to start when it comes to grassroots and it was so difficult mm-hmm. trauma so yeah. they the results are coming up when we are doing the leave your goals yet yeah, another leave your goal maybe we have to leave your goals mm-hmm. Yeah, is it with the is it with the like family family woman? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. And I'm 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 and so like the second round be yeah. will be will be will be bobo la ñoo start so 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 dem na ñoo yef chama man man dal duma nek di wadak everything da mo nek alhamdulillah da wow yeah ah that is that is that that, that is that is it. that is very 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 interesting um seni seni yeah. seni kañi ah uh, small boy papa asana ak say ñu ñu bëgg ya hasin show bi de ga ngay display ci suuf but you know um, this question makes it interesting you know coming over in the kingdom we can equally equally um, consider these things consider them all like they for in time we can learn you know because game bit of advanced league game bit of a move so um these little things contribute hugely you know so i believe mm-hmm. that sorry for that man. having a game no problem you know you know i i believe that clubs and also the national um um, um teams can equally learn from her because no boy you know is gambian the boy the hamnane she wants the best for our country so obviously having her there you know i believe we um um lisa lisa um think boy and dina dina um yo kalu boy in gambian football si gambian football definitely ah seni prepare my english it's not as tiktok it's a tiktok big see instagram big yo sa boy si ya gay bu gay di 
Tell you cooking challenge kali tengah kan dah. Tapi like, because they have to get used to, you know, most of the players they talk. Then you watch say yeah, they want sister thing. So the money now go what they need. Now you're a professional. So you need to fucking try. Ni muna ko send for ba. Come send room si ya for take ya. Come like, yes, we we provide them clean and clean all every time. But they were bored because from teach them also how to be hygienic because hygiene because so so you need some balance being a bike because so because we don't we, we don't have to afford to make them sick. They don't have to be sick. Mm-hmm. Because then as a yeah. junior player, so if they are sick, how would they play? So that makes so much. So more than the integration, more than they can do. And they gain and they am. So they even means I don't talk about Mugisha. I got Mugisha from Uganda. They were the high sister today. I'm cooking this. What are you angry? So money guy, one of the uh-huh. things you know, the money guy, the money guy in April, and they will do a cooking competition. More talk. Like more than money can live in be joy. More than most. I got to make a chop. So more than most chop. Like I like. Like Allah you said, Allah you said, mohanga mo ne ka senior bi. Allah you said, mo mo jeul video bi. Legi man may ne ka supervisor what they should do. So they were so laughing and program is start angun. So we have to buy aprons. So our aprons we have to make. So things make because we make jim dafa yaato. So they will be doing uh-huh. so uh, so legi Omar Omar Akini uh, naka len ko wa so Omar Ak uh, Omar Aksuri from uh, Fini Horea. Ñoo ñoo wara toga. Ñoom ñaa ñoom ñaa ñu ne ka friends. They are younger ones. So Mugisha ak uh, Kini Odilon Ivory Coast and Uganda ñu ñu wara def cooking competition. So I got this guy. So yeah. so legi so legi Mali ak Kini uh, Simon ñom dañu def cooking competition. So they ñu holé ka moy dañu price man dañu price tag bang fofu non. So we don't know exactly uh-huh. what price tag la ñu utal guys. So mota dal wi bi di joy. Mom ne mom mom moy mos job bi bo mo ne. Ah. So it's ba ba da magi Yeah, I'm looking forward to the content on 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 no, Instagram bo, bo, and on 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 TikTok. From your upload, go. From your upload, go. Wow, from your upload, go, mom. So, so, so they they try to you know feel like they're home now because they have seen a sister, mm-hmm. you know. So they feel home. So Omar, Omar is the luckiest because Omar mom ham lag smotonge binetim, smotonge super. Namely, they yekal, they learn yoni. Smotonge lelvi yasa gana. So they all know the food. So yom they are feeling happy now. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Hopefully we will see that we will see it in their in their in their games right soon and then I'm guy yeah. impact we know like yeah, yeah, we so guys don't do this you see them supporting and also one of the things mm-hmm. they elevate in the in the social media be think is the Gambia to put it on Gambia and send more stuff on social media <laughs> yeah wow so, I got you for it <laughs> so so they were so happy so even Frank the money Gambia and I saw lots of our page increasing they are following the payment of Gambia support their own we like to support our own that's how we are. I am so happy I'm seeing the page is actually Guinea Horia because sorry is coming from Horia in Guinea when they play in Horia so yeah, same page banging over increase oh. I even have an interview with them in the, in the, in the, in the coming uh, I think they will release it so yeah yeah Ah, okay, nice. Um, my, we just have a, a wonderful new scene. It's a boy, be young one minute. They're gonna squad a very, a very wonderful wow. goal. Ah, uh, in the PSG I versus just... Fire Note. So I'm like, I cannot wait to see that goal. And then see any backs. Mune, what is your role in in Steve Biko? Because I saw hello, but I just see the final words. I mean, the new, new, new release. Go. So got a new, new, new. We do a situation. What are you? Okay, see, 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 Kanye. What's your role at at Biko? Role like that, like it. Role new legendary. Um. <laughs> the executive of the club so normally i'm uh-huh. correspondence and all of those things you know mm-hmm. I'm, I'm documents come to us so i'm part of the executive of executive okay back to yanko dega he is part of the executive anyway say any say any much do you have any final thoughts you will share before you you buy another them <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, happy. Super boy. Si. No, 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 no. Yeah, give it. But anyway, mm-hmm. um, I'm happy to be here and uh, to get him to me. You know, um, they were there for me. You know, every time say uh, they, she has come a long way. Mohammed, they, my wife, Alhamdulillah, I'm still, I'm continue with my journey. And the every time when I'm there, when they must every interview, my girls want to hear. My girls are funny, can you call him? I can't I can say he's one of the best. I can trade for anybody. Mm-hmm. He's he's mm-hmm. he's really supportive. Um, it's a great team, and my young brothers. Yeah, okay, go and take one. So my um, my brothers, you have they are very good. You have me. 
day in day out they they, they give my support um you know how much i started jff also the likes of um mm -hmm. bakar yamen yeah for my job the kind of um living boko nas ni manyeke tete wa ma yon bi president vitamin so di gerem ñep ñu xamne ne they are with me gerem tamit ci wasa bopa chama di gerem habib boko nas ci brothers yo xamne they are really showing me the way so my yeah it's not to insist to everybody so they are all people ñu xamne ne they all want the best for me they ñep dal bari nay so can name few ñu xamne they are really supportive they always want the best for me and they always guide me through di mo musa wal lo xamne lu bon la dem nga def lu bon dem no they will never do that but always what they want to see me they want to even push me in a way bo xamne i i really have to see myself so i behave myself said maybe ki bugu ma but all because of the good gist the success that i'm having today so di len gerem rek di len santa and then them keep supporting not only me and i'm also proud of every gambian out there who are doing big you know mm -hmm. not only myself but there are lots of guys you yourself chama you're doing big in 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 japan they don't know you are coaching <laughs> in the grassroots football you yeah they don't know they might they, they have to know what you're doing you're doing big in gambia in, in japan mm -hmm. you're coaching the grassroots you're having your coaching and get us a coaching course see and get janga say it mean also look my existing project is because we start you know wow this is a massive one you know mm -hmm. <laughs> so all these things no more know yep the far as in gambia and and one day chama in records new keep cote one day gambia mm -hmm. will dominate in calf how my bambis la moneta and one day gambians will dominate when it comes to coaching in africa you know i'm this mm -hmm. we have the potential mm -hmm. but how to nurture those potential more than a problem so the best thing we can do we mm -hmm. have to be collectively supporting each other you make sure you defer gambia bobo kuye lo fo mura muna nek rek mu def ko rek ni give him the panel that we give him or harder support and we are seeing now gambians how we are jige ya ngay janga we have my my assistant amna fifa masan we are ngay janga man ta man ci process bi pour djekal sama sama degree ci so ni ngay am lolu nonu so why not we come even the main side we conquer the main side so sma so sma slogan we always the fast days that's why any obstacle dañu dem ba je so dem ba je do dibi alama jara so bo dem ba je bo mo si yon be so di len gerem di grave bi wasi yep di grave jalo um jalo football bantaba doing a great job and all the media ñoo xamne they are doing the rightful way my now also encourage to make sure tay yang ko ba minte lum am gambia la tay i even wrote it on one of the comments in one of the posts i said that boy will go far that boy will go far because he have all the means that has to make him go far and he have support and gambia is what they have to do not only mom no musa everybody who is coming up they will go far so they didn't get them the less santa contanator of nega and let's keep supporting let's keep watching jalo football bantaba they are one of the best thank you seni thank you for uh for your time um Japan and Lubari, like almost one hour, but um, thank you very much. Be by you by the two bottles, my boys. Wow, you're not going to do it. What about us, my boys? But anyway, you're not going to do it. I'm going to do it, and I will follow in the program. Yeah, it's a pleasure. All right, thank you very much. Be good. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. So, Sini, it was a very interesting um discussion yeah. with Sini Boj. We have learned, we learned new things, right? Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and as a Gambian, I'm proud to see her. You know, um, doing her best. You know, because coming from where are this even for Gambia, you understand. So, I mean, we want to see our people go higher. And Tamilum Nekadi, um, 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 how I explain, you know, absolutely, the very important thing. So, as a country, Munonyo Janga from her, I'm not, you know, no more where are She wants the best for this country. So obviously, you know, I'm mm -hmm. this is a win for us, you know, this is a win for us, and I'm sure we've all learned from her. Yes, definitely we have learned from her. Now uh, we will move on to our other topics. I'm not going to be exhaust um different the two things, but uh, still we can discuss a few things. That is um the the Gambia on a 20 team for the Af Africa Games. I'm sure ne gisnga 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 team bi. This guy squad be there is a lot of talk, especially when it comes to players. You guys Jilud, you know how many they are doing well in the league and stuff like that. And then you know, space because they can follow on Friday. Then they realize ne there were a lot of things. Lo how many you body how many you want to suf? On a side, how many a very age break you know no land register land register centuries you know no. So it was not just because of like good players you know no. 
Mudroplen. It was sometimes that it was because of there were other circumstances you have no course monitor pick players you know. But anyways, we are getting into the all Africa games. What are the expectations from this competition? What 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 do you what do you think we, we should be expecting from the Gambia national team under twenty in this competition? It's, 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 it's a good opportunity, I believe, but what what do you think? What's your thought? Well, I think this is a good opportunity for us to um, build the next under-20 team. Um, you understand? The Wafu competition mm -hmm. be later this year, that might happen. We would not need a qualifier to the next AFCON 2025. So I think this is going to be an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be an opportunity for us to um, build a new under-20 team going forward. You know, I'm not um, receive more mm -hmm. of these names going forward. You know, so I mean, I believe mm -hmm. the target. Come to get to the to the um, um, last two of the competition, you know, you understand. So this is the target, but I'm sure you know we can build this team going forward. The um, um, competition, we, you know, they need an opportunity of yes, you know, um, what can the Gambia offer as well? You know, this is an opportunity for our players to um, um, show their their talent because I'm sure um, you'll have this. Um, um, guys there who, who want to have these boys you know um to europe understand so i mm -hmm. think you know this um, this competition will help us going forward you know more okay, um two objectives more for nega one to build a new under 20 team two um be you know, a, um, um um sort of a tournament one and then you help going forward to the WAF competition and the um u20 competition which will happen um next year so i believe that you know we can we can um go all out and compete Mm -hmm. Um, I think when it comes to the the squad, uh, when we when we look at the squad, we see some experienced players there. You have know, many see last on a twenty B, especially when it comes to the goal, goalkeeping de department. A couple of them were there, and then so they may see attacking area. You know, Mansour, Mansour, and yeah. uh, but then so see the league B, league B num neka dem era this season. Um, some players that are doing really well. Kumelni Mustafa Jalo. Um, we have mentioned Nako. Kumelni uh, Fadiga at at Greater Tumura. I think Fadiga Mombo. Um, um, I don't know what happened there, but he has been exceptional when it comes to Greater and Greater Tomorrow, They have been doing really, 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 really well. So why did I meet Sen Boy be Neka Sen Owens? Mom, I mean, this is squad. Be Silla. Wow. Um, yeah, get the galu Neka. More than I can I hang last time you don't complain. My library and for again, I see press conference talk. What an audience, what an uh, what an ask can be, yeah. guy, because the leading goal scorer, the two leading goal scorer in the league, um, the uh, the leading assister in the league, 16 yeah. goals involvement for that for that Fadiga Fadiga guy. So the reason Luza you know, you consider Woodland or. Oh, in Fadiga's case, consider we can see primary squad, be, but in the case of Lamin Silla and in the case of Mustafa Ajalo, they were in the squad, but then they are not in the final squad. There is something behind it, but it has to come from the, the man himself. And the, the best way to do that is by organizing a press conference and then facing the media. And you'll have to cook you know, no. I know you guys are cooking something with Lamin Silla because Lola Diga, <laughs> there is something cooking in the in, in the background with Silla. But what is your thought on that? Like we should keep, that precedence we set with Tom, that precedence we set with the female. Uh, what what is his name? Um, uh, female 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 coach. Be nakala nakala to Ah, um, senior team coach. Be mean female team. Yeah, right, female team. Be nakala to Do for it For it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Sorry, yeah, man. Why, yeah, man. President's been set on no, no. But more set, sir. President, but we, yeah, man, more set. Organize a press conference, move, move, announce the squad. And be. Why can't we continue that, Seni? As a uh, like country. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, okay. Media is very important in this game. The, I mean, football game, you have a lot of opinions. So, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's it. Of course, I'm going to um, bring on board. So, I mean, I believe having a presser helps as well because I mean the media will come, they will ask um, um, questions, you know. So I believe yeah. that we, we should learn from these things, particularly when you can get them into games, you know, um, be it at, at the national team and the junior teams. You understand? So it's important mm -hmm. to have the coach um, um, before the media move, you know, um, because I'm sure the media will have a lot of questions to ask, you know. So I believe we can uh, learn from these things because come no way earlier. You know, there's a lot of talk, why key neck for why key neck for. But I mean, um, um, 
the Bahamian having a 23 or a 20 man squad, you know, it's never easy. People will talk, you know, um, globally, you understand. But again, I fully agree, né? you know, having this kind of things, you know, whereby the coach will, um, will have a press with, uh, with the media that are important club because, um, wherever you go in the world, you know, that they consider a lot, um, 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 um count a lot rather. So I believe, né, um, you know, this, this, the, um, um, right thing to do, but I mean, sadly, we are not doing that because I mean, going to the tournament, people will still ask questions why can you go for can you go? So it's important that you know, mm-hmm. could be more, um, um, more, um, this kind of things. They, um, just to add to that, you know, this is a normal um, training ground, you have the media there, you know, and you go question the quality, but I believe you know, there's a bigger one, you know, um, he or she could have had, but I mean, going forward, we need to learn from these things. Yes, 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 definitely. We need to learn from it. And then <laughs> we have seen, I've seen some comments online. Yeah, Gami, I'm going to lie to for bias. Lie is, is bias, nepotism. <laughs> because of, I'm, I'm sure we hear about Sagai, you're guy because we see a lot of players from Biko. But this is first Owen Sam at the end of the day. And then Mustafa, Mustafa Jalomo, from what we had, he is um having different, you know, this this issue of age in the Gambia. Like yes. there was a time I mean, he, he, he using a different age, and then the, the system is having different numbers. So yes. again, another problem we have today is the system. Understand? Because if the system was so strict, if the system, you guys still understand presidency very well, because there will never be an issue where you will register two player, one single player with different living. Bukuma too much about no known because a very AB is very sensitive when it comes yeah. to Gambian football. But it's important we talk about it. We need to have strategies in place. Right now you cannot do much about it. Lufaneka right now you cannot do much about it. You don't know your okay we cut age 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 when it comes to age. So it's who's a sa sa automatic biometric passport be you can say age boom no jenna you cannot do that right now. All you can do now is let's see the next five years, the next ten years, the next fifteen years what can we do in this period you wanna mitigate this like every time we are balancing it out they could gain it they could face out and let's say we have a, a target being set out in Boba. you know after the next 15 years or the next 10 years whatever it is whatever number they put on on top of it gambia will be zero when it comes to tolerance when it comes to age when it comes to football and then that is where we start and then how do we do it then you start strategizing but you have to have that will and that will i still think is lacking there because even when you at, at our level at our uh, authority level or at authority level they don't even want to talk about it mm. and we all know it's a problem in the country it starts by recognizing that this is a problem and then how do we solve the problem but it's always what I need to be clear, Neka. Why Neku Lo Hamanti didn't go fight Al Tiko? How come from our here? Fight Al Tiko? No. Um. Okay. Maluma Gum. Youth football. The most important thing is um um development. Mm-hmm. Fine. So we need to have this the bar. But the most mm-hmm. important thing is allowing the players to develop. So I mm-hmm. think you know this have to be in, in, in um in the right place you understand because i mean lead of the court swing um good let's say from under 17 under 20 under uh-huh. 23 uh, um on the uh-huh. um, um national team understand so i think these things are mm-hmm. important to do um the last time you qualified to an under 17 competition was in um, um 2011 2011 mm-hmm. was the last time um what are we doing to to um, 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 get over these things? So, I believe in the Gambian football leader and were defined, you know, come, um, come it's important to win trophies at this stage. But look at how important it is. Have, have the players go, you understand? Next 10, 15 years, you know, these are the players who will go on to represent us. So, man, Lila mm-hmm. Gomba, more, more um, um, youth, youth teams in here, you know, it's not about winning. Mm-hmm. You know? Te, te, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. the, the other problem with the other problem yes the other problem with am no no is when it comes to youth team winning again politics comes into effect because youth team winning so you'll be on a 20 moving competition like it 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 it, it, it 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 helps you politically because of you can show for it and say ah now do my view on a 20 million you win but so you are going to put in structures just to make sure uh, the next generation will benefit from it the results will not be now 
because we are gonna fail. We give them because under 15 B, under 15 tournament. We get that. So we say in Halloween now you know. How many guys are nasa? Why so we say Kanam you know? Nigga have many under 15. Proper under 15 then. Under zara. Proper proper under 15 then. So sometimes you have to put them in place, and then you reap the rewards in the long run. But it's not gonna be now. You you are not. If I get a little more for you, but I put push. Okay, I'll be them Kanam. You will see football them Kanam. You have to ignore all the political thing but of course we cannot do that because at the end of the day we all know you lose for tech we all know how we think politically in 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 gambia so and i've heard politics mom that moment is a food mom personally but little more happening is to be is to be um yeah but so i'm gonna make a very good suggestion ibrahim mune chama nakala gff should enforce player registration and make sure all zones comply so little more is to be tamit this if we do this it will help a lot but because no la they don't make it as a problem. It's not a problem to them. They don't make it a problem. They don't feel this is a problem. They feel it's okay. And like I say, politically it's it helps them because the stronger the team, the more chances of winning a competition, the more chances of progressing in a competition. And then if the team wins, you can take that as your credit. And we see it every single day. GFF, forget them, the new binaf of none, you know if you win on under 20, the new Yobu World Cup, you will end on a winner on a 20 World Cup, you will end Africa second place or third place. Hamga. We all enjoy those moments. And then we all appreciate we then go to enjoy Nunyep. But does that help our football? That is the big question we need to ask ourselves. Nahlu of New Yobu Kanam as a country. Like it's a big it's a it's a it's a big thing. Yeah. Uh Seni. So they have get on two today, but um, I will just go to discuss about um, uh, this. I'm sure, guys, you guys saw this one. Player of the month nominees. Um, Manko publishes in social media, see Facebook, YouTube, and everywhere. Um, three, four players were nominated. Young woman, they may just cause my wife to just update on that. Nakala, but I just watch the goal. My check now goal. This is my other screen, but it is a wonderful goal. Um, I want to watch the game, but um, the fuck my jail completely leave it. And then Nakala Musa Mufa Zakaria Sao CSCB CSCB, but for me personally, like small vote CSCB that don't vote because he was exceptional. But um, Yanko Minti was for many for Nagame, you could get the first and hold time. So, so I think I vote. See, I think right now he's he, he's way, 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 way ahead. But, anyways, we will publish the winner by tomorrow because we have to count the vote on all the different platforms and and, and that. Yeah, see any loss now for a, for a bit and uh, hopefully, then do see what in then discuss. We're going to discuss a bit about GFF. GFF, my English gang, I'm on a very, um, how do I call it here? Back at the jam, I'm on a guy, I'm on a, I'm on a, they inaugurated the ground management committee. We're going to, I'm chef, I'm on a chef, because personally, man, you know, um, I'm not very vast when it comes to this thing. I'm going to vast you. So I, I usually feed off his, his thoughts, feed feed off his ideas on this kind of things. But since we're talking to Tessa, we can discuss it next time we come here. On the on 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 the program, yeah, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this enjoy the show. Um, say any say any loss now. So uh, maybe I don't have much else to say. GFF must go press conference with Amit. Um, I saw it yesterday. Guy, what is the reason? So that guy, you fuck me. Um. Those were photos yesterday. Guy, one of the reasons to that guy from the, that that is that is the way forward for our football. And um, yeah, they have the, the right to you know think like that. And um, yeah. So I don't want to say much about about that that one. I don't want to say much about that. I, it was just one of the topics that we wanted to discuss today. But yeah, it's more of a discuss but again at all. <laughs> but anyways, my guy. Um. Sawa jumla naka, njia gamba jumla naka. Musa baro and Messi tied one. Yeah, ah, uh, bro, bro, by CSV singa na wade. Zakaria, Zakaria was exceptional. Zakaria saw, of course, represent to Gambia. The way when he when he wanna play for Gambia, Zakaria saw. Um, he scored five goals, one assist. He went on a run of five games of scoring in a row, and then after injury la amonsa, mo am two injury, mo am injury, and then me. You see a couple of games in February. Lolo monta sa hindi niko ngo sa mi tawag na bari lolo nuno. So monta mi. Yeah, he was exceptional. Zakaria like, Sao. Yeah, CSCB, we're going to go ahead. Three penalties like CSCB, Monbe. Like, three penalties. One game, we save another penalty. The other game, we save another penalty. And then, I'm not getting a game, we're going to play, we're going to win 1-0. More assist goal, be. 
because the fact full bomb all lunch ball from the, his goal kick from his goal and then they score from that from that uh, uh clearance boom def no no so say see he has been exceptional more time mean, two clean sets and saves but like guy def so for me personally i think csb has been the, like uh, has been the best for me uh in terms of performance overall but yeah people think otherwise uh, yeah, he's our star boy, young boy. Yeah, definitely. Why is he my star boy? Why is he my star? Yeah, man, it's my star. But anyways, guys, um, the game said he lost now, so they they want to get again Jeff for being here with us on the Gambia football show. Cheers, cheers, my boy. We cheer for one game. I've done hang on from here, coach it out division. We so legal, legal, we can like I send game there, nigga. So, more time, more time, you pull co host that man. Um, say, you know, I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't know. We need to do going forward, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you start taking with the new group. They, they, again, you know, um, fine, I'm not going to office, but you know, the most important thing is players in you develop, understand. So, I mean, um, uh, step by step, in call the um, um, you understand. So, I believe in the, um, uh -huh. we'll get there. Talent is not our problem as a country, so let's just mm -hmm. have those structures in place. No, nurturing um, them is the problem, you know. Next, you know, so that next 10 years, you know, Gambian football, you know, will, will be at the highest level, you know. We can do it. We can do it, absolutely. Definitely, definitely. Some of you get at your final CSV. CSV is played in the Serie C, third, third division yeah. of Serie, uh, the Italian Serie, Italian Serie A, Serie, Serie system, or the Italian League system, Serie C. Yeah. Um, but he's he's been exceptional to be honest. Like in the last two, three months, he has been one of the best Gambian players, not just the best Gambian goalkeeper. Yeah. One of the best Gambian players in January, he was very good too. Yeah. But I know ahead of the African Cup of Mission, he was in very good form. But I'm going to say, Lulu, Seni, Seni for GFF president. Seni, you know, you're the next GFF president. Right? Yeah. Wow, GFF, mom, send, send ground management committee. You guys set up me, but you buy a coach, you know, 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 yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. But it was like, it was another interesting show. We also exhausted about one hour, 15 minutes, and we had Sini, which I think uh, it was very, very interesting discussion. We learned a lot of, a lot from her. So, and hopefully, I'm got the dinner, I'm some impact on the Gambian football time it, like, because of this. These are, these are new roles you have in co creative football. It now, she can even be advisor and stuff like that. But anyway, Sini, if you have any final words to say, um, Today, before you close, young yeah. let's go first half. Yeah, definitely. OC, thanks. Go ahead, Seni. Yeah, again, I'm okay. like, happy to be here as always. Like, um, so much Thomas, I mean, you know, you know, we've learned a lot from her. So, I believe in the coming more okay, again. I'm going to um, have this again on record that you know, be a um, winner for Gambian football, understand? Her. So, mm. I mean, um, you know, how many they are with us or they've been with us, you know, so you know, again, you know, I'm. Thanks for watching. So, Aki Otami Chama, you know, it's always a pleasure to have this kind of discussions with you. So, and more like, you know, we'll keep doing our best and ensure that, you know, we give you the best of news. So, I'm quite happy to be here as usual. It's a pleasure. Yeah, definitely, definitely, guys. Uh, if you are watching from Facebook, Instagram, or, or, or Twitter, or, or, or YouTube, um, thank you for being with us. And um, please, if you have not subscribed to the Jello Football Bantaba YouTube channel, please consider doing so. And um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this show. Seni, be dinner about Benin next week, inshallah. Okay, bro.